One of the simplest things about golf is the teeing off area. So many golfers get this wrong and it can be catastrophic to your game. How high do you tee your irons? How high do you tee your fairway woods? And just how high should you really tee your driver? That's what we're going to discuss in today's video. We're going to discuss the pros and cons of a high tee, a low tee, a mid tee, and even just what you should do to your technique to hit longer drives, longer three woods, and more compressed iron shots. We'll kick things off there. So imagine this is a par three now, and I'm thinking, right, just how high should I tee my irons? I'm not very confident. Even I see this so often when there's an opening par three. So if you've ever played a, a golf course where the par three is the first hole, so many people tee the ball up really, really high. So you can, I mean, not necessarily that high. That is a, a general driver tee height. But even as we move to this middle ball, that is too high for an iron. You do not want the, the ball to be kind of over the bottom few grooves of the iron here. We want to make sure that you are going to compress this ball down. The issue being, if you do have a really, really high tee here, generally what you'll see the, the golfer's body do is you'll load up okay, and then you'll think, right, I've got it teed up nice and high, I'm gonna get this ball nice and straight down the fairway. You then back up and lean back off the ball. The club starts to then rotate a little bit too much. You'll see a really, really wild release there. And the ball flights that you'll see from that are a, generally a quick left. It'll go high and left, and you won't get the strike that you want, obviously. We know with irons, we're trying to compress these irons into the turf. The irons are really the only club that you're going to want to take a nice divot with. You might want to with a three wood if you're playing a low stinger shot, but generally we don't want to be doing that. We want to make sure that the irons are the only club that we compress into the ground. That's where this tee does look perfect. So I want to have a nice low tee. Basically, all you're doing with an iron is giving yourself a perfect lie. You're not trying to kind of get it too high, you're not trying to pick it off the top. Even with a driving iron, you want to hit down on that ball, you want less dynamic loft than the static loft, and generally you want to see a nice ball flight very similar to that one. That's a gorgeous ball flight with a four iron, and you can see the turf interaction was absolutely perfect. That's bounding down the middle of the fairway, and the tee was here, as you can see, a nice shallow divot with a long iron, and the tee comes out Oh, we broke it. Sorry, Chris, that was your tee. Moving on to the fairway wood, though, a very similar kind of option here where you do start to see a lot of golfers tee this too low, actually. And if you tee a fairway wood too low, ideally, if we're going to hit a fairway wood off the tee, we want to hit it around here. This is the kind of sweet spot. We want to hit it out here to get a nice low spinning shot. You'll see I don't want it this high because that's where we're going to roof it. We're going to hit that wasp. Look at that. We're going to hit that wasp, and that's not what we want. The perfect place is just over the kind of crown of the club there because I want to get a nice shallow angle of attack here. We're not trying to hit down on this like we would do the iron. We're not trying to take a big divot. Generally, we're just trying to get a nice ball flight out there at a kind of mid trajectory. That's the key. We're not trying to launch it up in the air. We're not trying to really back up off it and really hit big low spin drive slingers. That's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to keep the ball in play. If you were trying to hit that, we'll talk driver T height in just a second. But again, that's the perfect ball flight for this five wood. That's up the left hand side. Again, that's bounding now down the fairway. And you can see the strike location on the head here. A little bit of moisture on that ball has really allowed us to get some feedback on there. That's the perfect place I want to strike it from. If I was to tee that up too high, we'd probably start to see this kind of moving towards the toe or the heel. This is actually Chris's five wooden. You can see maybe he's been doing just that. Bit of feedback for Chris to hit it more central, tee it down lower. Make sure you do get a little bit of compression there. Compression doesn't necessarily mean we have to hit really down it. We have to de-loft it. You can hit a nice compressed fairway wood with a nice static loft. Now driver, which is maybe why you're all still here, driver's interesting. So great points as always there from James, but we're talking driver now, and this is where a lot of people get it wrong. So how many people have got sky marks on their driver? How many people hit it all over the face? And how many people have watched videos say, yeah, I need to use a white castle tee, or is it the yellow castle tee, or it's the pink castle tee, because that's the most popular. But I've just seen there's now an orange castle tee. So there used to be a gray castle tee. There is a lot of tees where you need to start to think what is right for you. But what we'd like to see is that ball just above the crown of the driver. So we can see there that's just sitting just above 
the driver half of the ball's above that and that's going to be in a good position now for me to encourage hitting up onto that golf ball but this is where you need to think about your technique if we had that teed extremely low and i was hitting up on that golf ball then we're going to get the torques we're going to potentially get one that comes off really low on the face and it might be a spinny one that it does raise up into the air but it doesn't really go any distance if we now go the opposite and i have this too high where it's above that we might be hitting really high on the face and if i hit it really high on the face this is where we're going to lower the spin and lowering the spin then can mean that it dips out of the air so you might be somebody who go okay yeah my ball flight's always doing that it's not really getting much carry and especially when you go to a new golf course or you've got things to carry over at your golf course you start to struggle and then from there you start to go okay i'll hit even more up on it we hang back all we then do is launch it really high and it still goes no distance so you have to know for you exactly where you feel comfortable and where you start to hit the ball on the face a good thing to do here is a silly thing to buy is foot spray where you can spray the facial i've seen a lot of youtube videos where we put a little bit of white spray on the face to start to see where you're striking that if you've got something like that or you can wet the face before you hit a shot and what you'll then be able to do is start to see where your strike pattern is if you use your normal t you'll then be able to go oh actually I've hit five drives here and they've all been low over centre. That's maybe why they're spinning up. I might just need to lift that tee a little bit so it gets it closer to the middle of the face. And this is things that you can do to start to understand why you might be losing distance. We want to optimise distance. We want to make it easy as possible. And that's what we can do on the tee. We're using a tee to get that little bit of advantage. So let's make sure you're taking advantage of it all and not losing distance because you're not using the correct tee height. Once that's the correct tee height, I can get into my normal setup, I can commit to my shot, and I can start to see a nice penetrating ball flight there up the left center, nicely down the middle, a nice kick off the down slope here at Woolley Park on the 18th hole. But make sure you get your tee height correct. If you want to check it with those clubs, start to either put a little bit of moisture on there so you see a little bit of a strike pattern or get some of that spray because certainly with irons and fairy woods, even well, more so with your irons, we start to see people tee it up too high. You hit it right off the top of the club. It feels really weak strike and you don't get the distance. That's because you're taking advantage. Yes, you are using a tee, but it's going too high. You're hitting a bull the sweet spot you're losing distance and that's not going to help you get good at golf so guys a really good tip there from chris about driver tee height one bonus point i really wanted to get in for you guys here is the differential between your iron swing and your driver swing that's the big difference why we tee the driver so high why we tee the iron so low if at all a lot of people do like to just kind of throw a ball down on a par three i would recommend personally you do tee up an iron even if it is a par three because you just want that perfect lie you're never going to get a perfect lie anywhere else on the golf course so make sure you do it when you get the chance but generally what we're trying to do with an iron i like to think about sternum so we're trying to get load up to the top of the backswing as we move down into that ball we want forward shaft lean the sternum moves forward slightly as you rotate around the body that's how we create that nice divot and that nice ball flight that i showed you early on in this video with this new tailor-made p794 iron gorgeous club actually might have to think about having those in the top end of the bag the difference with driver here is that we're not trying to really move forward get that sternum forward and get that forward shaft lean this would look very odd wouldn't it if you were looking at this with a driver that's why we tee the driver up a little bit higher we don't want a low tee with a driver we don't want to get down there that's when you might see golfers slice the ball to the right because if a golf club's moving down through the ball generically it's working around the arc of the body so it's working to the left if your swing path works to the left you're either going to pull it or slice it you're never really going to hit that big high low spin draw that you do want to hit by keeping the sternum back with driver the low point actually comes pre-ball so the low point is before impact so the low point is actually here from there you'll see the sternum works back a tiny bit if i had a zip on it would be a little bit backwards from there i then hit the ball and the driver keeps working up and around and that's how i can hit longer drives and more compressed iron shots just by making sure the tee is at the right height can we get this past chris's drive of course we can guys thanks so much for watching make sure you do smash that subscribe button if you want to get good at golf and apart from that we'll see you all at the same time tomorrow do us a favor invite a friend to this channel throw a like on this video if it's helping you get good at golf and apart from that 
Bye.